How to add text in Canva? Let's jump on in. The easiest way to add text to your Canva project is to simply press T on your keyboard. This will add some dummy text to your Canva project that you can then easily adjust. While it is still highlighted in blue, you can then simply type your desired text. Another way to add text in Canva is to click on text here in the left sidebar. And you can then add text to your project by simply clicking here on a heading, a subheading or on body text. All of these three here actually have the very same standard font, which is Canva Sans, and they're just differently formatted. So for example, the heading here is bold and the size is 92. And the subheading is actually almost the very same thing. The only difference here is actually just that the subheading has a size of 52 instead of 92. And then the dummy body text simply has a size of 34 and it is not in bold. You can obviously easily adjust these by simply double clicking on it and you can then change the text. I will do the same with the subheading. Just like that. In many cases, taking text here by clicking on text in the left sidebar, however, is not gonna be necessary. Most of the time, it is just really simpler for you to press T on your keyboard and you will then get this dummy text as explained before. And it's usually just simply to use this text here and take it from there. Because with this text right here, you can actually transform it into everything that you need as well. For example, if you would like to make this a heading, simply double click on it and then click on bold here on top. And then by using these circular handles here at the edges, you can simply left click and drag to make the text block bigger. And just like that, you turned your text into a heading as well. If you would like to change the font of the text, simply left click on it. And then here in the upper left, click on the current font. And you will then get a list with all the fonts in Canva. Then just click on the font that you like best. And your selected text will then have this new font. Another question that I often get is how to add some background to your text in Canva. So let me quickly show you how this is done as well before we're going to have a look at how to add text to a Canva template. So first of all, what you want to do is to left click on your text. And then on top, click on effects. On the left side, you will then find all the different text effects. And one of these is called background. You can find it right here. And when you click on that one, this will actually add a background to your text. At the bottom here, you will then also find certain customization options. For example, you can make the text background more round. You can increase or decrease the spread. Or you can adjust the transparency of the text background using the transparency slider right here. On top of that, when you click on this color square right here, you can also adjust the color of the text background. So if you would like to change this to blue, then we could simply click on one of these color squares right here. For example, light blue. Now, another way to add a background to a text is to simply press R on your keyboard and this will add a square to your canvas. Now, while the square is selected here, you will see that there are circular handles here on the edges and you will also find these bar handles here on the sides. And now by using these, you can actually transform your square into basically any rectangular shape that you want. So with this bar handle on the left side, for example, I can change the width of this shape. I will do the same with the bar handle here on the right side. And with these two handles here at the top and at the bottom, we can change the height. And now we can obviously use this box here as a background for our text right here. Before we do that, we have to change the color of our shape here though, because if not, our text is obviously not going to be visible because it has the very same color. So to do that, simply left click on our background right here and then on top go to color. And from there, you can basically choose any color. In this case right here, we're just going with this light gray color right here. So I'll just simply click on that and our text box now is in light gray. Now to actually make this a background for our text right here, all that is left for us to do is to left click and drag and we simply put that behind our text. And now we can further adjust the size of the background if needed. So here, for example, you can see that it's a little bit too tight. So we want to have a little bit more space right here. So I will simply hover over this bar handle right here and drag it to the left to increase the size of our background. I will do the same here on the other side as well. And that's it. This is how you add a text background in Canva. Next, let's have a look at how to add text in a Canva template. To choose a template in Canva, all we need to do is to click on design here in the left sidebar. And from there, we can search through different templates. I can simply enter a keyword here in the search field on top, like animals, for example, and I will then get all these awesome animal templates. Now to add one of these, we can simply left click on it. And if the template has multiple pages, we can either choose to apply all of these pages or we can click on the specific page of the template that we would like to add. So if I would just like to add this one here, for example, then I can simply click on this one. 
Now to add text to a Canva template, it actually works in the very same way as adding text in Canva always works. And that means all you need to do is to press T on your keyboard and this will add a new text box to your canvas. When doing so, the cool thing is that Canva will actually add this text box using the very same font that is already used by your template. Once you have that new text box on your canvas, you can type the new text. You can then reposition it. And when the text is selected, as always, here on top, you will get this text bar that will allow you to further manipulate your text. So if you would like to change your font, you can do that right here. If you would like to change the font size, then this is the place to go right here. Or you can always use these circular handles and just drag to make the text either smaller or bigger. On top of that, if you would like to add some text effects to your text, then you can always left click on your text and then go to animate here on top. And on the left side, you can then choose from one of these cool text effects right here. For example, typewriter. Just hover over the text effects to get a preview on how this is going to look like. Pretty cool, right? Instead of always adding new text boxes to your Canva template, another thing that you can do is to simply duplicate text. And Canva actually makes this extremely easy. Just left click on the text element that you would like to duplicate, then press and hold Alt on your keyboard and then drag. And just like that you can duplicate this text. And then as always you can obviously adjust the text to your liking. So just double click on it until it is highlighted in blue and you can then type some new text. This can be done with any text element that you find in your Canva template. So if you would like to duplicate this element right here, just left click on it, press and hold Alt on your keyboard and then drag. And like this, adding text in a Canva template really becomes a piece of cake, right? Now let's have a quick look at how to add text on Canva Mobile. First of all, we're simply going to open up the Canva application. Then we click on the plus icon at the bottom to start a new project. Let's just go with the custom size for the moment, so I tap here on custom size. And we're just going to use these dimensions right here, so I tap on it. And once the project opens up, to add text, all you need to do is to tap on text here at the bottom. And you can then add text from here. In case you just need a simple text box, tap on text box here on top. And just like that, we add the text to our Canva project on Canva Mobile. Now, in case you already opened up a Canva project by the time you would like to add some text to your project, then to add text or add more text to your project, all you need to do is to tap on the plus symbol here in the lower left corner of the screen. And then select text here at the bottom. And then just tap on add a text box here on top. In case you would like to add some more complex things like font combinations, then you can obviously also do that by selecting one of these font combinations right here. To add one of these to your project, simply tap on it. Now last but not least, let's also have a look at how to add text to a video in Canva. Essentially, adding text to a video in Canva works in the exact same way as adding text to a regular Canva project, be it just some photos or a slideshow for example. So all you need to do to add text to a video is to simply press T on your keyboard. You will then see this text box on your video and you can take it from there. For example, I can now make the text box bigger by using these circular handles here on the edges. Then on top, in the text toolbar, I can click here on text color and change the text color by clicking on one of these solid colors here, for example. So if I would like to change this to white, I will simply click here on the white color square. Now I can double click on my text. It is then highlighted in blue and we can now simply type some new text for it. If you would like to add more text to your Canva video, simply press T again on your keyboard. And you will then get another text box right here that you can use to add more text. Now, where things get interesting is when you actually have a video that is made up of different video clips. So for example, when you have a video like this here that is made up of three different video clips, How could you actually add text to all of these different video clips? And then also make sure that the text timing is correct. If you would like to know how this works, then make sure to watch the next video on this channel.